Hello, surely you have already seen this rock, whether in the coffee plantation, pasture, or any other plantation area, or even in the ravines of roads, which is quite common. What you probably didn't know is that this is raw material for the manufacture of aluminum. So this is the bauxite from which alumina is obtained to later manufacture aluminum. First of all, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, also share the video with your friends through social networks, and the most important, watch the video until the end. Aluminum was discovered in 1825 in Copenhagen, Denmark, by the Danish physicist Hans Christian Ersted, 1777-1851, and in Germany by the chemist Friedrich Wohler, 1800-1882. The name aluminum derives from the Latin alum, using the electrolysis method to decompose the mineral. In 1889 aluminum became a widely popular metal, being used in the most diverse segments, electrical conductors, kitchens, tools, automobiles, and others. Currently, Brazil has the largest bauxite reserves in the world, practically all of its extraction takes place in the state of Para. Bauxite in its natural form is mostly formed by aluminum oxide, in addition to other aggregated minerals such as muscovite, quartz, feldspar, among others, depending on the region. Therefore, bauxite is considered a sedimentary rock. On average, the bauxite content here in Brazil ranges from 35 to 55 percent. Just like Brazil, here in the state of Espírito Santo, we also have a large concentration of bauxite, which is located in the central mountain regions and south of the state. Generally, the places that have this type of rock are not very favorable for the practice of agriculture. The bauxite industrialization method begins with crushing and grinding the rocks, where, in addition to the metallurgical industry, it is also used in the refractory and ceramics industry, abrasives and civil construction. Obtaining the final aluminum, obtained from bauxite, involves a very complex chemical and physical process, consuming a large amount of electrical energy through electrolysis, and the need for furnaces with high temperatures. Just so you can have an idea, recycling in aluminum can like this saves electricity by 84%, which is why cans are the preferred target of scrap collectors. Unfortunately, 95% of these bauxite deposits are found in areas of environmental reserves or in conservation areas. Here in our state of Espírito Santo, this is even more serious, because here, when colonizing the region, they gave full emphasis to the practice of agriculture, exploiting only the fertile and manageable lands. Areas with low fertility, acidic soils and rough terrain were left covered by forests, making the mining of these lands practically impossible under current legislation. In addition, here in a good part of Espírito Santo, there is a predominance of small properties, sometimes less than a bushel, so it is very difficult to extract bauxite in this region, since it involves many machines, large areas of excavations and logistics. 
And so the video ends today, I hope you enjoyed the information.